Hi everyone. So in this video, I am just continuing the previous calculation, the third parameter which is nothing but displacement error ED. So we have taken, just I am recollecting what we have discussed in the previous video. We have taken one circuit like resistance and capacitance which provides a time constant which is a as it provides a time constant for the circuit it is nothing but a time based generator based on some time it gives the output waveform. So this is the circuit we have taken and across which we have across capacitor we have taken a switch that switch when it is closed the capacitor discharges when it is open circuited the capacitor charges. So for t greater than 0 the circuit the switch is open circuited and the capacitor charges. This is the output waveform. And the expression can be calculated using this formula V final minus P final minus V initial and T power minus T by tau. So as tau is equal to resistance into capacitance, only R and C is there. So tau is equal to RC. And finally, we have calculated for the increased exponential signal, incremental exponential signal. Uh, V naught is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. So first parameter we have calculated which is nothing but a slope or sweep speed error ES we have calculated using the basic uh, formula of the same. So ES is equal to dv0 by dt at initial value t is equal to 0 and final value minus final value dv0 by dt at the sweep time divided by the initial value. And already we know the v0 so simply we can calculate these two values t at t is equal to 0 substitution we will get one value and at t is equal to ts we will get another value. So based on that we have calculated some ES. After that the expansion is taken and finally we have calculated what is ES. So now the second parameter was a transmission error which is ET which is calculated by taking the uh, sweep value at T is equal to TS what is the uh, VS value and what is VS dash value. Okay. So VS dash is nothing but here the input voltage value. VS is nothing but output value. So that we have calculated the difference we have taken and so ET is equal to we have obtained it as something like TS by 2 RC as ES is also TS by RC just I have written it as ET is equal to ES by R2. Suppose in examinations if you are asked to derive the relation between these two uh, sweep error and transmission error then you can have to do this analysis. Now coming to the third parameter which is nothing but a displacement error. The displacement, displacement error, displacement error indicated by ED, displacement error indicated by ED, okay. So from that figure what we have taken the circuit diagram and the output waveform, we can see that the maximum displacement between the actual sweep and the linear sweep which passes through the beginning and end points of the actual sweep occurs at t is equal to t is equal to t s by 2 t is equal to t s by 2 okay now yet t is equal to t s by 2 v s dash is equal to V s by 2. V s dash is equal to V s by 2 because the sweep passes through the beginning and end points of the actual sweep. That is we are going to take that occurrence at v t is equal to T s by 2. Okay. Suppose if you have taken a waveform like this, I will draw what we have taken so that you can understand. The input waveform will be like this and the output waveform is like this. This particular difference is nothing but your displacement error. Displacement, there is the change in the position of the signals. Okay, the amplitude we are taking, the amplitude at T is equal to Ts is something like Vs. At T is equal to Ts, it is Vs. So, obviously at t is equal to ts by 2, we are taking it as vs by 2, okay, exactly half of the maximum value, okay. So, now the actual sweep vs, 
the actual sweep Vs is given by is given by Vs is equal to V into 1 minus e power minus t by Rc already we know this one. So now instead of taking a t is equal to Ts now we need to take a t is equal to Ts by 2 because our discussion is at the center point Ts by 2. So at t equal to Ts by 2 it is Vs is equal to Vs is equal to V into 1 minus e power minus Ts by 2 into Rc. Okay. And that is equal to just in a similar way what we have discussed, uh, what we have done in the same previous section. Now do the expansion of 1 minus e power minus A. 1 minus Ts by 2 Rc 1 factorial plus minus Ts by 2 RC whole square into 1 by 2 factorial and so on. So neglecting the higher order terms 1 minus 1 0 Ts by 2 RC minus Ts by RC whole square into 1 by 8. Here it is 2 square 4, 4 into 2, 8. So, at t is equal to we know at t is equal to Ts, v naught is equal to Vs. So, Vs is equal to V into 1 minus e power minus Ts by Rc. Okay. So, now what is the expansion for this one? Is equal to V into already we know 1 minus 1 minus Ts by Rc plus minus of minus Ts by Rc whole square into 1 by 2 factorial parts and so on. Okay. So neglecting the higher order terms we will be having V into Ts by Rc minus 1 by 2 Ts by Rc whole square which is nothing but your Vs. Now we know the displacement error. We have calculated the required two values. So for the displacement error, ED is ED is equal to we know already Vs minus Vs dash by Vs. It is nothing but maximum value. Vs minus Vs dash. See, if you name this as Vs dash, then it will be Vs dash. If you name this as Vs, then it is Vs. These two must be same. These two must be same. Okay. No problem. You can name it as Vs dash or Vs. If that doesn't matter. Okay. Vs minus Vs dash by Vs in maximum. That is equal to V into Ts by 2Rc minus 1 by 8. Ts square by Rc whole square minus V by 2 T by Rc Ts by Rc minus Ts square by 2 Rc square whole divided by Vs is nothing but V into Ts by 2rc minus ts by rc whole square into 1 by 2. That is equal to so v by 2 into so after simplification we will be having minus ts square by 4rc square plus Ts square by 2 into Rc whole square divided by V into Ts by Rc. So we have a chance to get Ts by Rc cancel. Uh, 
that is equal to VV gets cancelled here 1 by 2 into it is taking the LCM we will be having 1 by 4 TS by RC whole square divided by TS by RC so that is equal to see here TS by RC TS by RC cancel and we are left with 1 TS by RC and that is equal to uh, 1, by, 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 which is nothing but 1 by 8 into 1 TS by RC which is your ED. Already we know TS by RC is e, ES. TS by RC is ES and uh, see here the relation for 3 is 3 will come now. It is ET. See clearly ES is TS by RC, ET is TS by 2 RC but ED is now it is TS by 8 RC. Okay, 1 is to 2 is to 8. It will be like that. 1 is to 2 is to 8. Okay, so see it is 8 means ES by 8. ES by 8. Okay, so I will write these three. ES is equal to T by TS by RC. See clearly, ET is equal to TS by 2 RC, ED is equal to TS by 8 RC. Okay, so if ES is equal to this one, it is ET is equal to ES by 2 and this one ED is equal to ES by 8 and it is ES. So, ES, it is ES by 2 and it is ES by 8. So, you can write ES as 8 ED and you can write ES as 2 ET and it is ES. So, what is the relation among these three? So, ES is equal to 2 times ET that is equal to 8 times ED. This is the relation among these three parameters 1 is to 2 is to 8 okay so this is the relation among these three or else you can also write it as ed is equal to es by 8 is equal to et by 4 okay you can write in this way or in this way no problem so if a capacitor c is charged by a constant current i then the voltage across c is I T by C. Hence the rate of change of voltage with time is given by sweep sweep I by C. Okay, that is a different thing. Okay, so this is the relation among these three parameters when we are going to take a resistance and capacitance circuit as a time based generator, simple circuit. Okay, uh, this is very important when in the examination, suppose if you are asked to calculate the relation among these three parameters, uh, sweep error, the transmission error and uh, displacement error then you have to do this analysis part by taking a, a simple circuit like resistance and capacitance example. Okay, in the next video, I will explain about the unijunction transistor. What is the meaning of unijunction transistor and how a sweep, uh, how a unijunction transistor can generate a sweep output voltage. Thank you.